Hello Cancers! So this is a different type of reading that I usually do. Um, this reading is going to be really deep, okay? I'm going to put some um, psychological themes into these, uh, I mean, into this reading, and I'm going to put, put like real life themes into this reading too. Um, also, I'm going to do a single tarot reading, I mean single reading for um, the Cancers that are single. <laughs> um, I'm going to ask, like, who's coming towards you, what's coming towards you, what's blocking you from true authentic love, um, what you're holding on, you know, what do you need to basically release, okay? So let's start with this deck, okay? So I put a bunch of themes and phrases, okay, into this deck. So I'm going to pull some cards and pull some messages and read it, and then I'm going to go to the tarot. So... Universe, what messages do you have for single cancers? Universe, universe, what messages do you have for single cancers? Universe, what messages do you have for single cancers? Okay, and also this reading is for like singles or people that's in bad relationship, situationship, you know, those type of connections. Universe, give me messages. What messages do you have for cancers? Universe, what messages do you have for single cancers? Universe, what messages do you have for single cancers? Universe, what messages do you have for single cancers? Universe, what messages do you have for single cancers? Universe, what messages do you have for single cancers? Universe, what messages do you have for single cancers? Universe, what messages? Okay. Okay. So, I got watch your energy. What are you manifesting? Wow. Okay. So, I feel like the universe wants you to really be vigilant, okay, and conscious of what, you, what you're focusing on, even emotionally. Like, whenever you're not feeling too good, don't sit in that energy, okay? Do something that's going to make you um, feel good or make you feel inspired, okay? Um don't send the energy of sadness, depression, anger. Really watch your energy. And when you are aware of that you're not feeling the best, do something about it, okay? So it can change things. Because, again, we are spiritual beings, okay? That's living a human life, okay? A life experience. But at the same time, we are vibrating. So I feel like the universe wants you to watch your energy so you can vibrate higher and so you can manifest exactly what you want and not what you don't want. So things that are, if you feel like things are not really going the way that you want it to go, okay, especially when it comes to love, the universe is trying to say don't fester in that energy, okay? Focus on actually what you want, okay? Then introspection, okay? Your top five non-negotiables when it comes to love, self-awareness, and subconscious blocks, okay? So I feel like the universe wants you to get deep within your own self, okay, with introspection. What are the five top non-negotiables, okay, when you when it comes to dating and relationship, okay? What are those five things that you won't compromise, okay? These are your standards, okay? And if you feel like you are not too sure, the universe wants you to know what are your five non-negotiables, maintain those standards, and all the time, uh, like, you know, always um, improve those standards as well, okay? Don't feel like you need to lower it for anyone. So some non-negotiables, it's like someone who's just not faithful. So not dealing with people that's not faithful. It could be like you want to deal with only people that's emotionally available. So not dealing with people that's emotionally unavailable. So when they show that characteristic to you, knowing how to cut them off, okay? And not wait for them to change basically. Then I got self-awareness, which is kind of tied into the introspection. So again, I feel like the universe is wanting you to focus onto yourself. Okay. And then I got subconscious blocks. There's probably things that you're not even aware of that's kind of blocking you from what you actually want in life. So the universe is wanting you to go deep into yourself. Okay. What are your fears? What are your limits? What is limiting you? Okay. And figuring that out and kind of releasing that. Um, then I got past issues. There's some past issues that keep on reoccurring in your life and you need to get to the root of it. Okay. And that's with the introspection and that's being self-aware. Okay. And again, it could be with sub, 
It could be with the subconscious blocks, what you experienced through childhood, what you saw through childhood, how people program you through childhood. Um, I feel like the universe is definitely wants you to dive deep, even through your childhood, okay? Then there is stars and motivation. So I feel like the universe got a great, great, great opportunity for you, okay? And if you feel like you've been slacking on motivation, your motivation is going to come through because I feel like you are going to maintain something, obtain something that's going to be great value and it's going to be a dream, okay? Then I also got a karmic person. Some of you guys are probably holding on to a karmic person or a karmic person is holding on to you. There needs to be some form of cleansing of that energy because this is probably someone who's probably making you, making you feel distracted. Aries had a similar energy with that distraction. Um, it's making you, making you not really put your focus onto your dreams, okay? Completely. You guys are focused onto your dreams, but I feel like in completely and entirety, there's something that's kind of like preventing that with a karmic person, okay? Then I got goals, cancer, I got your energy. So I feel like you guys going to, you have the power, okay? And if you feel like you don't have the power, you will have your power back, okay? Um, to um, achieve those goals, okay? Who taught you to not love yourself? So some of you guys, someone taught you to not love yourself, okay? It could be family members, it could be childhood programming. It could be a relationship. Um, someone probably taught you to not love yourself, okay? So it kind of reminded me of Malcolm X when he was talking about, um, when he was talking about to his um, congregation um, or to his people that he was speaking to, okay? Like, who taught, who taught you to not love yourself, okay? So the universe wants you to know that you are God's child. You are protected. You are beautiful. You are amazing, okay? And whoever was trying to make you feel like you, like, you know, you ain't all that or, you know, all that type of negative energy that was probably deep ingrained in your brain, let that situation go, okay? Because you are enough, okay? You're more than enough. Um, and then I also got Cancer and Gemini, okay? So, yeah, I feel like you're going to get to your throne. Some of you guys are already on your throne, which is great. Um, now with Gemini, this is all about communication. So I feel like you probably need to talk to yourself and like having powerful self-talk, basically like prepping each morning of what you want to accomplish, what you want to do in your life. Um, even talking to yourself, like about your beauty, about your attractiveness. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. And then I got daydreaming. So I feel like for the cancers who haven't really put that much action towards their dream, the universe wants you to say, yes, you can dream and daydream. But the universe wants you to act upon those dreams, okay? So let's look at the tarot. So there's going to be some quietness because I'm looking at the questions that I wrote. And I wrote in highlighter, <laughs> okay? So let's start. Universe, what's coming towards cancer? Pertain to their love life. What's coming towards cancer pertains to their love life? Okay, Knight of Wands. Okay. Someone who's in and out. I forgot what sign have this. Gemini or Aries. One of them had it. Um, so there's an in and out energy that could be that karmic person. Okay. Could be a Sagittarius. Universe, who's coming towards cancers pertain to their love life? Universe, who's coming towards cancer is pertaining to their love life. Universe, who's coming towards cancer? Ace of Pentacles. You're going to have someone brand new who's going to actually invest in you, who's going to treat you like the queen, the king that you are. Um, this is someone who have a lot of value and importance, okay? This is someone who have a lot of money, okay? So, <laughs> that's good. So, you see. Universe. I feel like this is a new love, but I do have a question. Is this new or old love? But I'm getting new love, okay? Universe, the person who's coming towards cancer pertaining to their love life, is this a new love or old love? Universe, the person who's coming towards cancer is pertaining to their love life, is this a new love or old love? Universe, five of swords, okay? So here, showing past. So it could be two energy, a past person trying to come back. This is someone who's very manipulative. Could be a fire sign, an Aries Sagittarius, or a uh, Aquarius, okay? 
however, I feel like you have a new person that's going to be coming into your life that's going to change your world, okay? This is probably someone you're going to do business with, okay? Build with. Universe. Let me look at the question. Okay. Universe. Where will the single cancers meet this new love? Universe. Where will the single cancers meet this new love? Eight of Wands. Wow. Who had this? I think Aries had this too. In that same position. So you might meet this person through travel. Okay. You might meet this person through passing. You might meet this person where people communicate a lot. So it can be like a, like a, a lounge, a bar. A lounge, not too, <laughs> I would say more probably like a bar. Okay. It could be like that. Um, it's like where it's fast paced. Okay. This one be a fast paced area. It could be at the airport travel, like something relating to that. Okay. Okay. So universe. What's going to be the outcome between single cancers and this new love? Universe, what's going to be the outcome for cancers? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is someone who's going to continue to work for this connection, okay? They're going to be extremely loyal and dedicated for this, okay? They want this to work out. So it could be Earth sign towards very Capricorn. Okay. Universe, what's blocking single cancers from true authentic love universe was blocking single cancers from true authentic love so i got the eight of swords which is it's a block and the queen of pentacles okay so queen of pentacles for me is like a loyal woman i feel like what's blocking you is you're loyal to the wrong person some of you guys um have a habit of being loyal to the wrong people um, wrong people in your life, wrong person in your life okay the universe wants you to stop doing that be loyal to yourself first Okay, and how you be loyal to yourself first is making sure that you put yourself first all the time and also having healthy boundaries and standards, okay, and not compromising those standards for no one, okay? Okay, so what does cancer need to do to attract real authentic love? Universe, what does cancer need to do to attract real authentic love? Universe, what does Cancer need to do to attract Six of Wands and the High Priestess and the Eight of Cups? You need to successfully walk away from a situation that is just not good, okay? Somebody who come in and out your life, you got to walk away from any of these type of people, okay? Your spirit been trying to tell you to do that for probably a long time. Universe wants you to do that, okay? Anybody you see that's inconsistent, walk away. Also, another way of how you're going to attract real authentic um, love is being really passionate about what you do. Okay, being on your ish basically. Okay, usually when you're on your ish, you're on the right path, you attract your right people that you should be around with, your tribe basically. Um, you feel much better about yourself, and usually you attract that person too, like everything's in alignment. So I feel like the universe wants you to continue to be on that path of success. Okay, universe, what are cancers still holding on to? that they need to release when it comes to love wow pass it was to come out upright it came out reverse some of you guys are still holding on to a past situation energetically it could be like um the pain the sadness or it could just be like physically holding on to this person or spiritually energetically holding on to this person the universe wants you to completely check out from that situation let it go okay universe what does cancers need to heal from when it comes to love Universe, what does cancer need to heal? Magician. So I feel like it's more what you need to heal from is having expectations and is not being met. Okay. And sometimes that happens when you have expectations, when it comes to a particular person, um, you try to write it out because you know, you, you see the potential and you try to like convince yourself like it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And this person keeps showing that they're not what you put them to, you know, they're not how, you know, so, like, is not putting them on a pedestal, but, like, what you expect out of them, okay? So, I feel like the universe wants you to believe them the first time, okay? How this person treats you, um, believe them the first time, okay? How they are, believe them the first time, okay? So, 
Yeah, I feel like that's what you need to mostly kind of heal and evolve and learn from mostly, okay? Universe, what subconscious block does cancer have when it comes to love? Universe, what, sub what subconscious block does cancer have when it comes to love? What subconscious block does cancer have when it comes to love? Ace of Swords and Hermit. Okay, a lot of you guys probably don't... It's like relating to your throat chakra. You may feel like you can't speak your truth to its entirety, okay? Because you don't want to mess up the connection, okay? That's probably how you think. Um, you feel like you need to hold back, okay? So it can bring more harmony. But I feel like the universe wants you to speak your truth at any time given, okay? Don't hold on to holding back. I mean, don't hold hold back just because... You just want to keep the connection of how it's going. I feel like the universe wants you to, like, speak your truth because communication is what keep a connection healthy, okay? Clear, open, transparent communication. And the Jenna energy is the Knight of Cups. So I do see love coming your way. Yeah, love is definitely coming your way, Cancers. <laughs> it's coming your way really a lot. And I feel like a lot of you guys are learning a lesson, and that's why it's coming your way, Okay. So that's the reading that I got for you, Cancers. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a person with me at queenfortheterrell at gmail.com.